hi friends so in this video we are going to see how you can install infi jobs laravel job portal script with website on your server so we will see each step in detail in this video and how you can get this working on your server so first of all if you are not aware about then i am mitul kolakia from infium technologies and we are building multiple products in laravel and InfiJobs is one of our products so if you have recently purchased it this will be a good video for you how you can install it so InfiJobs is a really good product with uh, really cool features we provide around 45 plus modules for uh, various usage based on the candidates and employers and the target of In InfiJobs is to provide the bridge between employers and job seekers so let's get started so to have it first you need to purchase infi jobs if you already purchased you should get one zip file something like this uh, which i have so the first thing that we'll do we will just extract it and yeah then you will get something like this distribution.zip and docs so docs is basically the documentation that you'll be getting but you can also uh, see the same docs over here in our on our website so you can go to infium.com then infi jobs uh, to the products these are other various products that we also sell which is built on laravel only so i will go to the infi jobs i will click no more and then i will go to the documentation so this will be the documentation that will be following i will hit next so first thing that we'll need to do is verify the system requirements since Laravel also has some of the system requirements. So the first thing we will do is go to check and check if we have all these requirements on our server. This is a really important step before you install the app on your server. So on your server, as we suggested over here as well, that you will need to point it to the main domain so be very careful if you are working on your local host so you will need to create a virtual host on your local host on your local machine because it will not work like you go to your local host and put it into some subfolder or it will even not work if you put it into a uh, subfolder on your server so say simply like i go to public html and then i just put uh, infi jobs over there into one folder so for that it must be a root level domain it can be subdomain as well something like this local.infijobs.com this will be valid main domain will be valid but subfolder will not be valid because certain requirements will not work properly on subfolder so let's get started so first of all in this video we are going to host it on a subdomain since my main domain is already occupied that is infium.com so we will be doing some subdomain like jobs-demo.infium.com so first thing that we will need to do is to verify our server requirement and for that i have already prepared some steps that we will be following so first thing we need to do is choose a domain to work the main domain versus subdomain so we will going to use something like this jobs-demo.infium.com so first thing that i need to do is create this subdomain be careful if you want to use the main domain like you are already planning to use main domain then you don't need to uh, create these steps that i am doing for subdomain so i will go to my cpanel first of all then i will find a section for subdomains over here then I will go there I will say like jobs demo dot .com. I will just choose a default folder that has been created into my root so I will just create a jobs demo dot .com. so I have created my subdomain jobs demo dot .com, where I am going to host it now I already have a folder created for that as well jobs dash demo dot .com. so now my subdomain is created i already got a folder so i'll be uploading my zip over here but before that we want to verify our system requirements so first thing that i need to do is i need to assign or i need to check if i am using php version 7.2.5 or greater so i will go back to my sub 
panel and I will go to my PHP version editor where is that over here and what I will do I will create I will select jobs demo and I will select PHP 7.4 7.3 will also work that is not a problem so I have applied it and if you will see carefully now if I go back to my folder and I just hit reload you see one HD access has been created this is really helpful now if you view this HD access it has added one Apache handler to it so otherwise if you have replace this HD access without this line you can face the problem something like when you open your subdomain it will download the file instead of running the PHP file so be careful about that so now let's get started so uh, we are already using 7.4 so this requirement has been fulfilled now how we can check this all other extensions are installed so what I will do I will just go here and I will create one file call index.php so I will go here and create index.php now I will edit this file and what I will write I will write one simple one line php info uh, sorry we need to do echo echo php info and save so now I will hit save now let's see if our subdomain is properly working so i'll go here i will test it in few jobs yeah so our php version is 7.4.0 now let's verify that each extension is there so i'm copying bc math i will see yes bc math is already installed next one c type c type is already installed file info so one by one we need to check each of the extension that is already installed and if you find that some of the extensions are missing then you should probably contact your server administrator or the hosting provider that you have hosted your cPanel with now we will check PDO with PDO you also need to check PDO MySQL is already also installed because since we are going to use MySQL so PDO and PDO MySQL that both are required now the next one tokenizer let's see tokenizer is already there xml xml is also there so we are good now server has all of the things that we need so now steps that we have done is this particular step is done we have chosen the server we have set the php version and we have already verified that our server is working properly with all the required modules that laravel need the second step that you will need is you need to have access to certain components like php my admin because we are going to import the database uh, email setup to send registration emails and things like that we will also need a stripe uh, to configure the plans and things like that but in this video we will not be covering the stripe thing uh, we will be recording one another video and that video link will be putting into the description of this video subdomain this is optional that if you need and remember if you are not going to use subdomain then you can directly go to your public html and you can create this file php info index.php and into that php info and then you can verify that each of this um, modules are installed so this is the very first step that you need to check care before you go and install the info jobs now let's move to the second step of the installation so i will follow right now the non-technical users uh, documentation so as we already got a distribution.zip so i will go and upload the first step i will go and upload it to my web server's root let me zoom it a little bit yeah so now my web root so i will first of all now i will go and delete this both file delete i don't want to keep it into stress i will also delete cgi bean since i don't need it okay so now our directory is empty remember again we will need to reset our php version again because we deleted HD access. so now i will hit the upload i will go and uh, select the file from my desktop which is infi jobs and distribution.zip 
so let's wait till it is get uploaded so yeah that done now we will go back to distribution and once it is done as said in the documentation we will extract it over there so i will go here i will right click it and i will say extract i want to do extract in the same folder i will say extract and now our file has been extracted oh we are done uh, this folder we don't need i will just hit and delete now if we open ht access over here then our handler is missing also ideally what laravel suggests is your web root folder should be public so if you are using subdomain then your web root should be this particular folder not your main folder but don't worry we have managed few things into ht access so it is good even if you are using public folder or even if you are using the root folder but if you have ability where you can change the root of your domain then you can do that so first i will go over here now again i will go to my subdomain i will go to jobsdemo.infium.com i will edit the document root and i will write slash public the reason behind that is in the root folder you have certain sensitive files over there like env so people can steal it when you document root like when you change document root to public folder that security has been enhanced so nobody can access that file so now our um, root has been changed but as i said don't worry if you do not do that for some reason based on your hosting provider thing like some hosting provider do not give this ability so it is fine now we will again go to the multi php manager i will again select uh, jobs demo because if we go back over here in public and if we see ht access the handle it is not there so i will go again and as i said this step is only need to be done if you are using subdomain otherwise it can be fine but yeah if you face that kind of problem where when you open uh, your domain and instead of showing the php page it is actually downloading that php file then you should go and do this step now i will go again i will again say a view and one second let's do refresh uh, let's check this file okay let's go to the public let's go to the hd access okay so i think it is already been added so it is fine now let's move to the next step so the next step that we need to do is set up our database so i need to create one database and i need to import my database so as a first step i will access my php my admin i will go over here i will go back again i will go to my php my admin I am being redirected to PHP my admin. Now I need to create one database. So if you see this guide, I need to create one database called InfiJobs. But from here, I can go there. So I cannot create from here as a cPanel. So what I will do, I will go to MySQL databases section. Let me zoom it a little bit so you can see it properly. Now I will create one database called Jobs okay create a database let's go back as a best practice you should create one user as well because if someone is stealing your database credentials then it will be for one database only so what i will do i will create one user as well call jobs for password let's use generated password and temporarily i will copy it over here so i will use this password click it and create a user so now we have database created as well as we have user created now what next step we need to do is add user to the database so i will select user over here and i will select database over here and i will click it and i will give all the privileges make changes okay changes has been saved go back now if i go here and if i click this refresh button i can see the database okay which is totally empty right now so let's go back again to the guide 
and see that what we need to do we need to now import a database sql file that is into dist database infijobs.sql so let's do that i will go to the import i will browse it i will go to desktop infijobs oops we haven't extracted dist.zip on our local let's do that distribution i am extracting it let's wait for a second okay now database and infijobs.sql okay distribution database infijobs.sql okay now let's hit go and what it will do it will actually create all of our tables that is needed and it will also seed some initial data that we need okay so this all tables has been created if you see some table already have some preloaded data like cities are already loaded countries are loaded some front setting functional areas all of the migrations currencies states one default user that we are going to use for the super admin login things like that so it is already there so we are done with the database step now let's move to the third step which is really important for setting up our environment file so as per in the guide we can find the steps over here which env variables we need to set so i will go to that steps so these are the variables that we need to set these are the mail mail variables that we need to set this is optional if you want to use some other disk as aws or things like that so let's move ahead and go to our file manager i will go back i can see the dot env file i will click the edit okay so the app name i will give infi jobs demo i will keep it local for temporary i will make it true so if any error has been coming then we can see it app url that we are going to use is jobsdemo.infium.com so i will replace it over here so we are done with app name app url now db host db port database so our database is copy from here okay this is our database name oops there is a space be careful if you are using space anywhere in the dot env file you should enclose it with double quote so something like this if i want to use space over here then i need to wrap it under double quotes otherwise it will games give some weird error so now our username username let me grab it this is database this is our username so i let me go to over here and remember when you are using special character as well in the password you should double quote password always so i will go here i'll give a password and i will hit save so now our database has been defined our app url our app name everything has been decided everything has been set sorry so these two variables we will set it to false and this to production once we are in the production and done with the installation this is just right now true because we can see what error has been thrown if something goes wrong now let's move to the next step so next step we need to set is mail settings so if you see below over here we have mail settings so for that i need to have access to my mail settings so i'll go to the email accounts uh, i will create a new email so i'll just hit create a hit i will write uh, jobs demo dot infium dot com uh, let's generate it let's regenerate it okay i like this password so let's copy temporary somewhere and let me hit create let's copy this one as well 
jobs demo at the rate in film.com don't worry i will just remove this user once this installation has been done so nobody can use these credentials okay so let's hit create okay our mail account has been created so now we have out of these all credentials what we have is our email and our password now how you can get this mail host mail port encryption something like that so let me show you so i will go again to my credentials i will find jobs demo and what i will do i will first hit check email when you are redirected to this page you should see something like configure mail client and when you click this button you will get this kind of information which you can use so if you see we have imap pop3 smtp that kind of things so we will go with smtp so that will be our driver so if i go to env smtp is already set now the mail host and this is our mail host which is outgoing server you should use always outgoing server so my outgoing server is mail.infium.com which i will set over here now the port for the port i'm going to use uh, 465 if your server does not have ssl settings then you should not use this you should use this one non ssl but it is not recommended like your mails or internet will not be encrypted it will be plain so it can be hacked over the internet but yeah that is totally a separate thing so we will use 465 so i will go here and i will write 465 our username that we already have so i will go here for the security and for just the safety i'll wrap it under double quote just to make sure nothing goes wrong i will write password for encryption we will use ssl so if your emails are not working you can try to switch this both option to either ssl or tls if it is not working but ssl should work in some servers they ask for tls so it should be fine now the next thing uh, from address we will going to use the same from mail from we will just use the same as app name this one so our mail credentials has been set let me hit a save so mail has been set i don't want to use aws this time that is fine uh, stripe we will be setting up in a different video for google facebook and linkedin social logins these are the steps that you can follow from here we have given a very good guide for steps video tutorial which domain you need to set or url you need to set for callback everything is there so google is here facebook is here you can also find linkedin uh, one second yeah you should also find the linkedin setup as well here and then you need to populate these all things so we will try to cover it in some other video so let's focus on first of all getting it working so i'll again go to the non-technical section first step is done second is done now i think we are good to go and we should open this url so in my case i need to open infijobs sorry infijobs dash demo or jobs dash demo dot infium.com slash admin slash login so i think we already have opened this page somewhere no we are closed okay jobs demo dot infium.com slash admin slash login so you see this file has been downloaded so we we are facing the same problem so let me go back to my home i'll go to the multi php manager i will so you see now this has been replaced so i will go i will apply 7.4 it has been applied now if i go again back to the public and if i see my htm ht access you will see this handler has been added now we should be ready to go but you will see if this will again happen i will show you the solution for that so we have replaced but it is still downloading the file so for that because browser has cached that particular thing so you need to go network disable cache preserve log 
let us try once again. So, now if you see it is working, now you can disable cache and everything. So, when you see, when you feel that you have already made a change and you are still not able to reflect that, you should disable your cache and try it again. Okay. I think for some reason logo is not coming. Let's see what is the problem. Okay, admin asset. I think there is some problem in this. We will check it. So the path is a little bit wrong. So logo is already there. We should use the different path, but we'll fix it. Not a problem. So now the best thing is we are able to see the admin login. Now let's try to do a login with the credentials. So admin at the rate infijobs.com. The password is one two three four five six okay let's do a login okay so we are able to see the dashboard candidates and everything employers working candidates working general skills computer so seems like everything is working um, okay front setting Okay, feature jobs, price, everything is there. Now, this thing, this debug bar, we are done. So, what we will do as a good best practice, I will make it false and I will change to production and I will hit save. Now, let's go to dashboard again and it will be done. So, this is how you can install MP jobs on your server. Let us know if you miss anything, we will try to cover it. And if you think there is still any problem, you can always contact us on our support email over here. You can go and create a ticket as well, or you can just contact us on our support email. So yeah, we have some other products as well, which is really good products. You can check our portfolio and you, you will find all the other products that we sell like CRM, projects, hospital management system, libraries, and even chat systems as well with private and group chat as well. So yeah, thank you for watching this video and I hope this will help you in installing Infijobs on your own server. Thank you very much.